big hunk of something. Hello, Sniffer. Hi. Hello. Oh, darling. You're going to be fine. He's coming to the salon and this is our space. So I'm accepted and he's accepted and we're together. You're very welcome. Yes, you're very welcome. Oh, my goodness, that's a whole hug. Oh, right, get down. Yeah, get down. Get, oh, my goodness, he's got a whole photo of me. Oh no, get down, get down. <laughs> good job. Yes, okay, you can have a cuddle. That was a good job. You guys see how cuddly this job is? Oh, okay, stop. Stop that. No, <laughs> really. I draw the line that comes in my ear. <laughs> oh, you little lover, stop it. Get down, get down. Calm down. Calm down. No, no, okay. Yeah, I know you want to get the cuddle. You can't. Such a soccer. Hey, fur family, Kylie from Furology. We have Barney here, who is a spoodle. So he's a spaniel cross with a poodle. And he is a whole lot of a mess today. Are you a whole lot of a mess today? I have not groomed him in some time. The last time I groomed him was with the old business that I was working with. Um, and when I left that business, I couldn't contact anyone. I just kind of um, left everybody. And um, some people have come over to join me since then. So it's um, taken him a little while to find me. And he's back. So uh, he's going to need a good groom. It's been a while. So unfortunately... Um, He's just gonna go nice and short. This is another shave down. Um, I can't, I know he's anxious. He's always a very anxious boy for his grooming, but I can't remember if he was snappy or not off the top of my head. So I was working in a mobile trailer when I groomed him last and um, he's such a funny boy. I had to run around the yard to catch him. He's so cheeky. I'll just give you guys a little rundown on all of the matting that he's got so you can have a good idea. So that is all completely felted there all over his feet aren't too bad a little oh yeah there's some big sort of mats in there that you can just feel chunks of matting all over that's a big chunk there's a chunk that's all quite matted his back's good somebody got a brush in there hey right up here there's big hunks of matting hello snoofer hi Hello. Oh, darling, you're gonna be fine. Uh, he's probably anxious about having his legs touched, which is fabulous, because uh, look at that. That's all big hunks of matting. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and well, shave this little critter right down. Oop, put that safely back there. Bring this guy here so y'all can see what we're up to. Oop, hang on, I think I can put him down. There we go. All right, mister, you're gonna be a good boy for me? You're gonna be a good boy? I hope so. Turn this way. All right, we're just gonna start anywhere. Feels good, right? Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Terrible, look at that. Okay. That's the collar area done. Come here. Let me lift this up. So, I'm gonna put his little noggin up here just so I can try and keep him. Up, up, up. Keep him from being distracted and snoofling every bit of hair that falls off of him. So, I can't see if you're gonna be there. I can't see. Not at all. Come on. Oh, goodness. Very well timed head movements there, sir. Turn this way. There we go. So, so far he's been well behaved, so we're just going to move through pretty quickly. Well, he's got this good temperament. We are using a 7, so it's um, likely to get through underneath most of this. And then we'll... Oh, struggle a little bit in those more highly matted areas but in general we should be able to go pretty quickly if he's behaving himself and being a good boy for me so that back strip was not too 
bud. Put your head over there, please, sir. Good boy. I missed you. I do. You know what happens, um, and if you're a groomer, I hope you're not watching my channel for advice because I'm not a fabulous groomer. <laughs> um, if you're a groomer, you'll know this. You think about a dog that you haven't seen in ages and you're like, I wonder how they're going. And all of a the sudden, they book in. It, is, uh, it has to be a phenomena, surely. If you are a groomer and that's happened to you, like, get in the comments there and let me know because I always think that is just so funny. <laughs> it happens all the time. Can you guys see how this hair is coming off? In like this blanket that is just one blanket of felted hair that's insane poor little guy hey you gonna feel so much better i'm gonna be a whole new man yes you are well maybe half the man you were when you came in all right i'm gonna change that blade over all right good boy stay there get rid of these loose bits yeah leave that there it won't be a minute. Stay there. And get another blade and a bit of oil. Just so that we are not getting too hot. Stay there. I'm right here. I see you. You want to sit down? Don't do that. Go get up. Lazy bones. Lazy bones. Are you going to be sweet for me while I do your back leggy? You be sweet boy. Alright, so I'm just going to try and break this half here. There we go. Ooh, I know. It's a lot. You're okay. There we go. Nice and easy now, right? Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. I'm going to hold that up for you so it's not pulling. You're okay. I know. I know it's not ideal. Now, he is an entire male, so you need to be careful of what's back there. For anyone wondering how I know that, generally I do ask the pet parents, but I usually just have a feel. Terrible. There we go. How's that feel, huh? All right, let's clean up a little bit. Oh my word, that's a blanket. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Oh, wow, buddy. So that's the outside, what you see, and that's that big hunk of mats that we were grabbing onto. Good golly, that was a lot. That was a lot. Do you feel better already? Can I have a look? Oh, is that nice? Yeah. How's that feel? You feel all biffy, huh? A whole new coat for you under there. Alright, so I'm just giving him like a little hand muzzle. Uh, I'm not really hanging on or anything, but just so I can sense his reaction and body movements if this is bothering him. Since I can't see his face while I'm working from behind. Um, but this is quite heavy matting here too. It's just peeling away. You sir are doing fantastic. We'll again get those knots off the front there for you. So we've recently um, worked out how to do the subtitles in YouTube. So I hope that's helping anyone that's hearing impaired. Um, Dale is in fact hearing impaired. And uh, in general, he just hears what he wants to hear, but also he does have significant hearing loss. So um, yeah, I was uh, sort of, I kind of thought that when you watch a YouTube video, you can just turn the subtitles on automatically. I didn't realize as the content creator, you had to make it possible for that to happen. So I really do apologize that um, we didn't have that to begin with. Good boy, honey, good boy. Uh, but we're definitely trying to get on top of that now. So hopefully we've got subtitles on for all of our videos. If you do come across one that you're trying to watch and there's no subtitles, just let us know um, in the comments. We do do our best to read all of the comments, uh, but in particular, have a, fl a quick flick through them and if we see something that stands out, we'll definitely get onto it. So um, just let us know if you're having any troubles with that. Uh, as mentioned in the comments on another video, they don't quite pick up my... <laughs> First of all, I talk in... Um, 
my own wonderful language with floofies and teethies and toesies and barfies. Um, and the subtitles would be absolutely hilarious right now after that sentence. Um, it just does not quite pick up what I'm saying all of the time. So I do apologize if it doesn't make any sense to you. All right. Some of this really uncomfortable areas for him. You're okay, honeykins. Oh, good boy. So under those arms, there is a terrible amount of matting. So that's a whole lot to deal with there. Okay, okay, we're gonna come here now. So I'm just gonna take it easy. That's some thick matting. Yes, you got a lot there. You have such a lot of matting there. Yeah, I know, I know. Come here, come on. Come on. Okay, we're gonna go under this arm. And you're gonna behave yourself, okay? Head up, uh, 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 no snarlies, good boy. I really know you don't want me in here, honey, I do. Just know I'm doing it for loves, okay? Good boy, good boy. That's a good boy. What a good boy. I know, I know. Look at him, guys, he's trying so hard to behave himself. Stay there. Uh, uh, up, 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 up. Good boy. I know, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. no, I would not appreciate that. Take it easy. Nice and easy, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. no. Sir, come on, try to behave yourself. Just keep it together now. Don't need any unnecessary teeth in my hands. Okay, nose is out the way, you can go that way, that's fine. Watch your ear. Good boy. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we'll come back to that. We've done well, we've done well. Yes, we've done so well. Good boy, you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Can we do this side now? Would that be okay? Can I have your foot? Come on, I touched my face, you guys. I sh when will I learn my lesson? The kids all have colds and um, I reckon I've caught one. because so I've just got a snoofly nose and I'm not enjoying it one little bit. I'm gonna come in here now, okay? We'll get that off. There we go. Look at that. More big hunks of mats. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Good boy. So I'm just going to come down his chest a little bit there. And then oh, he's just not giving me a very good angle here. Not at all. I want to get in here. See there? Stay. Barney. No, I'm coming in here. Out the way. Yeah, definitely thicker matting on this side. I'm sorry you can't see, but I do need to just push on. Ba, ba, ba. Hello. Oh dear. Husband. Oh. oh. Excuse me, sir. You tell him, you say you are not a part of our pack, mister. I'm usually everybody's favourite. You say no. Oh no. Don't stir him up. Okay, right. Do not it. stir him up. I'm sorry. Here's another one. You just have to form out when you when you need to. Thank you. Another SD card I'm to the going. rescue. Thank you. Yes, leave. Be gone. <laughs> so sometimes some of my doggies. Oh my goodness, sir. Sit. Yes, it's just us now. Sit down. Sit. Some of my doggies are just... Um, so you know how some dogs are really protective of their home and their property and if somebody comes in that doesn't belong, um, they get really protective, right? So uh, Barney here is the same. He's coming to the salon and this is our space. So I'm accepted and he's accepted and we're together. So when somebody new comes in, he gets protective. And that happens with so many of my doggies. They just become so protective of me and Dale just can't come in here. Not at all. Come on. Yes, everything's fine. You don't have to lick me. I'm okay. He's a good man. I don't mind him. I mean, he's a pain in the butt sometimes, but he does cook dinner every night. Yeah, he's worth keeping. Sometimes he sings for me. Uh-huh. Come on, turn around. All right, so we've got most of that underarm off. It's not too hot. Just starting to get a little bit on the warmer or more than room temperature side. That's it, you've done well. Good job, high five. Wait, where's the high fives at? Today I, and yesterday or whichever day it was, I have not had any high fives. Shake? No, you got nothing. <laughs> A nice warm bath after this. Honestly, I mean, this guy is a 
super duper loved family pet. He lives inside, young family, they've just had another little bubba. So you know, mum's at home and she's looking after him, but it's just, he does all right up until a certain length. And then if he gets a bit too long, he just mats up quite terribly. It gets out of control pretty quickly from there. It's just a bit of bad luck. I have done him with long haircuts. I've done him with short haircuts before. So um, now that mum's found me again, we're just gonna get back onto a regular schedule for him. And we should be able to maintain longer haircuts for him then. Um, you can see that he's a reasonably well-behaved young man. He's not standing here like a show dog would, but I can't complain. He's not trying to bite me at this stage. All right, so same thing again on this side. We're just coming off in these blankets of hair. Um, I get asked a lot why I don't break it off to stop it from pulling on the skin. Honestly, it's such a short time between then and it just falling off. It's not worth my time to stop and cut little bits off. Uh, it's not really going to make much of a difference for him. In fact, I'd probably be pulling on it more trying to get scissors through it than if I just carried on the way I am. Right now, taking it all off. Alright, you behave yourself. Uh, so I am cautious, obviously, coming down here because I know it's a spot that aggravates doggies. There we go. Let's have a look at what came off. Look at your blanket. That is like a whole little rug. Thick. Stop, please stop licking me. <laughs> he's a little bit stressed, so he's licking me. That's po possibly like a little bit of a I'm worried kind of communication. Um, sometimes it is like a communal grooming where I'm grooming him, he's grooming me back, and that's very lovely. Um, but sometimes also it can be a sign that they're a bit stressed out. So just keep note of that and be aware as you move through the groom to manage that sort of language that they're using. Excuse me, yeah. I'm gonna hold you here, I'm gonna do this, all right? Uh, uh, uh. No sudden movements. So I am gonna try and do like a little teddy face for him, but I am gonna take this chin down super short and get rid of these mats. And we'll do like a super tight little teddy face for him. If we can. All right, yeah, I know, that pulls around the ear, doesn't it? His ears even are maybe salvageable too, to be honest. Just right here, yes, I see that. That is a huge hunk of matting. And it's going that way and that way. So we're gonna have to be super careful about that. All right, so that's the bulk of that, but let's have a look here. Yeah, we should just be able to go straight down now. There we go. All right, so again, that's just a massive, I mean, it's not huge, but that's a really big tight hunk of hair there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Does that feel good? I haven't even given you a scratch there yet. Here, come here. How's that feel? How's it feel? Oh, is that so nice? You're very welcome. Yes, you're very welcome. Oh my goodness, that's a whole hug. All right, get down. Yeah, get down. Get oh my goodness, he's got a whole hold of me. Oh no, get down. Get down. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's just, he's holding on. Oh no, don't lick me. <laughs> Goose. Stop. You're a big rascal. Come on. Let's keep going. We're going to do this other ear now. Yeah. Come on. Good golly, you little snug rat. Come on. Okay, so just the same again. This one's not nearly as bad as the other side, but we certainly want to be careful. We are up around his face and there's lots of flappy, joiny bits everywhere. Sir, sir, sir. Uh huh. We're trying to do your grooming, thank you. Uh uh. Shh. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's hanging on for dear life. Alright. Good job. Sit. Thank you. Ah, ah, no, no. We're gonna have cuddles after. My goodness, you're worse than my six year old. You say, no, you got to do your jobs and stuff. I want a cuddle. Ah, stop, sir. Stop, good boy. Oh, man, the excuses children come up with these days, too. If your kids have some ripper excuses, let me know what they are, because I need to know I'm not alone here. Come on, I really want to clean this up properly. What are you even sniffing at, anyway? Oh, you're not that distracted. I thought you were that distracted. Uh, uh, calm. Calm down. Good boy. Uh, 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 uh. Calm, calm. 
Not that distracted, I see. Well, now I understand the level of distraction. Pop this back on. Good boy. Are you feeling like a million bucks? You feeling like a million bucks? Oh, goodness. That was not an invitation for a hug, all right? Mm, thank you. Okay. Stop now. Good boy, good boy. Just relax. Good boy, good boy. It's okay. Good boy. Oh, Barney. You're a little legend, you are. Such a brave boy. So brave. Not yet. Nearly. Nearly. Hang on. Uh-uh. Don't be pulling at that. That's it. It's done. It's done. You did a good job. Yes, you did a good job. Good job. Yes. Okay, you can have a cuddle now. That was a good job. Do you guys see how cuddly this dog is? Oh, oh. Okay, stop. Stop that. I'm not going to get anything done because we're going to be cuddling all day. Oh no, don't put your tongue in my bloody ear. That's not on. <laughs> no. I draw the line that tongue's in my ear. <laughs> oh, you little lover. Stop it. Get down. Get down. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let's get this other arm done. And we can look at your back end. All right. You ready? Go big good boy. Ready? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you such a good boy, Barney. Yes. Let's keep going now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, calm down. Uh, you can turn, but I'm going to keep going over here. Good boy. Good boy. You've done so well. Oops. Pick up this little bit here. That's it. Good boy. All right. Over here now. Just flip that back for me. That's it. Good boy. I know. It's not lovely, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. Come on, let's get this one off right here. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, uh, uh. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. That's it. That's it. You did a good job. You did a good job. Yes, you did. Calm down. I know. You can be excited, but not that excited. Calm down. Calm down. Come on. No. No. Okay. Yeah, I know you want to give the cuddles, but you can't. Such a sucker. I'm such a sucker. All right, down you get. Stop hanging on. We've got to get this leg done here, all right? Yeah, you see this leg? And you've not got to take no chunks out of me while I do it. I will be careful of your testicles. Use appropriate words. I know. Oh my goodness. I just gotta wash my hands, you guys. I've touched my face and I really shouldn't have. And I do know better, but I keep doing it because my nose is running. It won't be a sec. We'll get him a drink as well and um, then we'll carry on. Okay, I have cleaned my face and my hands, which is uh, much better because that was driving me nuts. It was actually driving me mental. All right, so let's groom these toots. Come on. Yes, I know, you waited very patiently. I did give him some water, he didn't have a drink. I left it there for a couple of minutes for him. Oh, what's that about? Stop that, no. Okay, so we're just gonna come in where all of these little boy bits are, which makes him very sensitive. Stop that. Very gently get that matting off there. It's still hanging in there, but I can't quite see well enough to um, just go for it because the clippers can catch on the skin around the testicles very easily and create unnecessary pain and also be quite abrasive on that skin. So we don't want to do that. Hold steady now. So by holding him like this, I'm kind of just limiting his range of movement and slowing him down a bit. Even though he's doing his bestest to behave. No, can't be too careful. <coughs> oh, you got some knots in those toes. You're okay, I know, I know. You're doing such a good job. Very good boy you are. All right, let's make a decision on this tail. Oh, okay. 
that from there up is all matted and this isn't. So I'll start shaving just this down and we'll see what's kind of left of it and make a decision as we go. So the reason I can't mat break that hair is because it is matted to the skin. So the tools that I have to do that, I wouldn't get in there and I'm not doing the scissors because it's too uncomfortable. So that is his tail that's come off so far. I'm gonna leave that for now and we'll just come back to it and make a decision at the end. We'll wash it and see how it looks once we've finished his groom and if it looks a bit silly, then we'll just shave it off and be done with it. So we're gonna come through and do this leg now. So I'm gonna hold up that leg. So we definitely don't wanna be warm around this area. It can be quite uncomfortable. So I've got most of that mat off, but it's still hanging in there because it's, a, again, just tucked right in underneath. Like the testicles kind of go like around and up and the mats are tucked up there. And this is another video where I say the word testicles far too many times. So my husband, Dale, he, um, he gets a little bit grossed out when I talk about things like this uh, and can't believe, a lot of people can't believe how um, hands-on the job is uh, in regards to the genital region of dogs. You guys, we have to touch everything from the butthole to the willies, to the vulvas, everything gets touched. It is just the nature of the job and you really do. I mean, plumbers, uh, yeah, plumbers, they deal with toilet stuff. They just get over it. I mean, if I had to do plumbing stuff around a toilet and I had to smell that smell, oh my Lord, I would not cope. That would be too much. And yet plumbers just come and do it every day and they're not faced. Um, uh, people in um, disability and aged care, they do toileting for um, people who need support in that. Midwives do hold babies out of humans. Surgeons go like inside of people. You just become so desensitized to all of that stuff. And it really just doesn't bother you. So um, I can be pretty blase about it. Um, and so I do apologize for that. Touch my face again. My nose is so itchy. He's done an amazing job considering all that matting. Hey, I would give you a high five, but you're not high fiving me back, so kind of um, defeats the purpose. Grab our little 15, which is 1.2 millimeters. So you'll find that a lot of um, groomers in a corporate setting will probably only use a 10 blade to do the sanitary region, which is a little bit, what is it? It's 1.6 millimeters, so it's 0.3 millimeters longer. Um, and will leave, has a slightly less chance of um, causing skin irritation or, you know, damaging the skin. Um, home, or oh, not home groomers, like uh, independent groomers will generally use either a 15 or a 30. Um, I don't use a 30 because it is super, super low for my uh, preference. Can you stop that? Hey, hey, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shave all that. You're going to be silly about it, are you? Okay. Oh, my finger got stuck in your ears. Are you finishing my underarms? Uh, you know, for a long time when I started grooming, I just really did not know exactly what to do in here when it came to boy dogs because I'd never owned a male dog in my life. I do now, but back then I didn't, had never owned a male dog. I just had absolutely no idea what to do back there. I felt like a total idiot to even ask the question. Excuse me. So it's just kind of winging it. Some of them I'd shave all the way back. Some of them I would leave a little curtain. Um, but then I asked like, I don't know, a few thousand groomers on the internet and um, it turns out it's just personal choice. It depends mostly on what the owner wants, if they specify and otherwise if they don't, you just kind of do whatever feels right at the time. And um, if the owner complains, well, obviously for me, I just straight away offer to fix it up, like come back, we'll just fix it right now. Um, and if they don't ever say anything, then I guess they're happy and you just roll with it. Oh, I was trying to yank you around and you're attached, I forgot. I'm gonna do this foot. Uh -uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Uh -uh -uh. Stop. Hey, stop that. All right, we'll come back to those after. Let's have a look here. Can everybody see you or you're even just straight off the screen? There you go. Let's have a look at these Ebers. So, I mean, we've got some knots and stuff, but nothing too wild, depending on how he goes with letting me brush them out. <coughs> Come here. Yeah, hang in there. So 
So I'm just using my matte breaking tool, which is, I don't know, I counted it once. It's eight or ten little razor blades. I do need to be very careful with what I'm doing, especially on these ears. You really don't want to catch, you, you really do not want to catch ear leather in this baby. Um, you can buy these things to use at home, but I just really don't recommend it. They're so dangerous. Like, I have never cut a dog, but I've cut myself so many bloody times with these things. Like an idiot. Usually it's doing something stupid. Like, sometimes there's a whole big handful of fluff in there, and I've grabbed it like this and run my finger along the blade. Like, duh. But sometimes you just don't think about things, and you do silly little mistakes. So... Something like this, I just super duper, luckily there was so much hair in there, I only just nicked my finger because there was so much hair that I was pulling out. I just don't recommend it for home use. Um, not only can you hurt yourself, you can do a lot of damage to the coat as well if you overuse it. Um, and if you're not using it quite right, it can be painful or certainly uncomfortable for your doggy. Prevention is going to be the best thing you can do, which is to brush your dog every day. And then you won't need a mat breaker in the first place. I think if you're at the point that you need a mat breaker, you're at the point that you need to get a groomer as well. Even if it's just for a big old tidy up and then you just continue on grooming at home again, sometimes that's the best way to go. So for this guy, we're looking at getting him on a more regular schedule. Ideally, that would be a six weekly schedule. But I live in the real world, so um, he'll probably get booked in eight weekly. Maybe 12 weekly. 12's too long though. Eight's pushing your luck and six is ideal. So if we did six, I'd be super happy. If we did eight, I'd be all right. If we did 12, I'd probably let them know that he's gonna have another shave down because he'll look like this again, <laughs> unless they're really doing, oh, actually it's quite short. So for the next one, we'll probably go definitely eight to 12 weeks, but once his coat length is back and we wanna maintain it, six to eight weeks. Um, only because they wanna keep him long. If they were happy to keep him short, then every three months, four times a year, that's fine. Uh, but mum likes to keep him long, so, um, she, yeah, she's tried her best over the years, and she usually does pretty good. Um, it's just been such a long time between grooms, um, as I was explaining earlier. Why? So, you know, we can understand a little bit. Not totally. This is not good. Um, but, yeah, that's just the way the fluff falls sometimes. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers today which is Monday the 7th of March. So if you haven't subscribed already, oh my goodness, make my day and hit that subscribe button. We are climbing very slowly. It's slowed, well actually it's not slowly, it is fast, but it's slowed down a lot from where we were last week where we were going up by about 300 subscribers a day, which was just huge. Um, and now we're at like 50 to 100 a day. So uh, big welcome to everyone who's joined our little fur family. And uh, a big welcome to anyone who's going to come along next. I'm trying to think. I've been asking questions in each video so that you guys can answer in the comments. Um, what did I ask in the last one? So I've recorded another video today. Um, but it's obviously not posted today. <laughs> I don't know when you're watching this, so I can't um, guess that. But we've had... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm having a mind blank. Ollie. Ollie is a Border Collie. Black and white, very cute. Super matted um, through his back end. His front wasn't too bad, some mats. Uh, but we kind of did like a D-shed first. I didn't shave his booty first. I did a big D-shed. And um, we salvaged quite a bit of his coat. So he did still have to do some shaving and he lost his whole tail because that was matted all the way around. So poor love, he did have to have a bit of shaving done. But he came up pretty good. Um, I don't remember what question I asked in the video though. Goodness me. Hopeless. Oh, I know. So I'm a real music person. I love music. I like to listen to music in my working day, but when I'm recording these videos, I can't because of the copyright. So, um, and I love to sing. I'm not a very good singer at all. In fact, I'm not a singer at all. Let's just put it that way. So why don't you guys tell me in the comments? what your favorite song is, and I reckon if there's enough of them, come on buddy, yeah I know, you're real distracted over there, come here, 
if there's enough of them, I might make a um, fur family playlist on my Spotify, I reckon. And uh, I can spend a day listening to what you guys like to listen to. That could be a bit of fun. <laughs> Okey-dokey. It's true. Something my husband is very amused by. You guys can laugh too. Alright, in the bath we have one Mr. Barney. The beautiful baby. And we have our Wicked White shampoo and just our everyday pink shampoo. So he's not really too dirty. He's just It feels like he's been washed in, um, I don't know. Maybe not the best quality water at home or which is really common in the country by the way. But I'm pretty sure these guys live in town, so it can't be that. It would have to be um we see the gone for a swim a few times. Or the shampoo is just not really cleaning his coat as much as you would need to. All of that nice and wet. We don't want to get inside his ears wet. And we want to do a little window wiper on his eyes. Just so they're not having those sh that shampoo from the other. Out of the dryer. It's been washed in dead oil and detergent. But you, sir, can just smell everything. Hey? Okay. Couldn't your brother let me dry you? Did you know? 
idea. Here's an idea. Oh my goodness, there's ears going everywhere. I just want to dry your chest. Okay. All right, we are just going to blow dry him now. He's um, damp, but he's not drenched, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, Dolly Sparkles, time to wake up. Cue the music, my friend. dry you guys but you can see that he's um he's struggling with that a little bit so we can work around that oh I caught it legend must be spider-man you're okay you're okay oh yes you shake them fluffy locks boy come on we'll give them a quick brush if we do it now They'll dry all the way by the time we get to trimming them. Yes, 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 I know. Yeah, so guys, if you're struggling to get your doggy's ears dried, just give them a quick brush when they're as dry as you could get them. And then brush them again when they're fully dry. Like air dried. And you'll be fine. Come, come, come. Oh, ho, ho, he's a big baby. Yes, you're a big baby. I know, I know. Like magic. Is that what I've been doing wrong all this time? I didn't cue them to stand nicely. Got it. Remember that for next time. So you can see all the hairs that are coming off. That's um, the difference between a dirty coat and a clean coat. If you are clipping your doggies at home, um, having a very clean coat is the number one thing that you need to do before you start. Uh, before you even worry about the quality of your clippers and equipment, worry about how you can get this hair nice and clean so that you can get a good tidy even clip however in saying that we have clipped him very short today because of the matting that he had and um, some of that matting was very quite tight to the skin and so you will see that he's um, patchy here and that is where that hair has pulled up even shorter again because the matting was so tight so we won't get the tidiest, tidiest smooth clip on him, um, which is very unfortunate. That does bother me, but that's what happens. And he was very tightly matted, you guys. That was a lot. Just be careful in his booty. I'm not gonna worry too much about his feet at the minute because we will tidy them all up again. So not a huge amount comes off, but yeah, that's all that. Little bits that don't come up the first time on a dirty coat. And he wasn't even very dirty because he's been getting washed at home. Um, it just has not been in with the right kind of procedure to wash dry and brush. Poor mum though, she loves him long, she's a bit upset. But we did talk about it before the groom. He is so bloody loved. His coat just got super long and um, you know, it reached a certain point where they just could not brush it out anymore. And that happens. That's why we need to have um, you know, when your groomers are asking you to stick to a schedule and stuff, it is fairly well in line with, I mean, I don't really enforce schedules here. I couldn't care less, come, don't come. Um, in regards to like having the consistency in my day, in my weeks, I couldn't care less about that. Um, what I do care about is the health and well-being of your dog and that financially uh, and time-wise you're able to stay on top of everything you need to. So, um, you know, I just trust you guys to book in when your dog needs a groom. 
hope mum doesn't come before I've had a chance to tidy you up. Alright, sit down. Just lower this table a little bit so my little T-Rex arms aren't reaching over too far. Good boy. Okay, so for his head we are going to shorten it down. <laughs> Pop on my 30 blade and we're going to use um, 13 millimeter or a half inch comb attachment. Come here my love. And we're just going to cruise on through this mop, which we've already brushed out, so there shouldn't be any real tangles. Um, he does have a not a round head like you would expect from the poodle side. He's got quite a bony little melon that you would see more from the um, spaniel side. And it's quite square and then it just kind of all falls down there. So um, it's not the most adorable little melon to work on. As far as teddy bear faces, you've got to do a little bit differently. Yeah. Sit. So Obi's mum is here and she is waiting for him. Um, while I just let that camera cool down, I've kind of done that side of his face and trimmed his ear. So we're just going to go super fast and get the rest of this done. And um, so this is the side with the knots, which is going to... So again, we're just going to come down this side here and really try to pick up those mats and tangles and just reduce some of the shaping that we have to do on the sides. I'm going to go straight across here. There we go. That's pretty good. Sorry if you can't see, I do have to move my armies around a little bit. Okay. So that's just going to take out the bulk of that hair back there. Yeah, we'll stay out of the way. It'd be fabulous. There we go. So I'm just going to take down some of this. Beautiful. So remember he had all that matting sort of under his chin so we did have to um, take quite a bit of that out so it's very very low underneath uh, which means we're really going quite tight with this teddy face um, which is okay it's kind of a cute look it's not exactly what we want to go for but um, considering the amount of matting that we've removed today it's kind of a miracle that he's got anything left on here at all really so definitely nothing to be upset about no mum has just had a new baby also so I'm being wary of that and just trying to get a wriggle on here because she's probably got bub in the car or she could be having a baby free moment and just enjoying some facebook time oh or not i don't know there goes a the horn come here Okay, hang in there. Hang on. Tidy up that top a little bit. Trim this ear and then we will be all done. Put a little cologne on him. No, sir. I really don't know why that horn's beeping. I hope it's not for me. Stop that, stop that. I know, I know. These guys know the sound of their own cars. Um, they're very clever like that. They can hear them coming around the corner and down the street, so. Um, that will definitely be amping him up a bit to know that his car is outside. All right, let's have a look. Stay I need to know that your ears are even. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad. Come on. Just a little smidgen more tidy up here. It's just sticking out a bit more. I know, I know, I know. Grab some pink musk. Pew, 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 pew. Not too much. 
Don't worry, I'm smelling like a toilet air freshener. Just a nice hint of beautiful man. All right, guys, that is Mr. Barney all done. Thank you, thank you. You are very welcome. I'd love to have spent a bit more time tidying him up, but that's life. That's life. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell if you want notifications for our next videos. And subscribe because it is making me so happy to see you all join us. I hope you have a lovely time of day wherever you are. And we will see you next time. Bye. Alright, let's get you out to mum. Yeah, your baby's in the car. Is it your baby in the car?